Coach, obviously a lot of different things in this game. Points off turnovers, turnovers, offensive rebounding, the run they went on early in the first half. What stands out to you as the most definitive things that led to this loss for you guys? When you say the run that they went on in the first half, I mean, we were down three on the road. So you feel pretty good about that. But you don't expect your senior guard to get kicked out. We came into the game knowing that this team is a great offensive rebounding team. So that hurt us. And then the turnovers hurt us again. And you're not going to beat teams on the road doing that. And, you know, I thought we had a good game plan coming out, couldn't make shots. I mean, when I look at the stat line, we were just awful. I mean, 11 free throws we missed. Um, we missed a lot of wide open threes, you know. I mean, that's taking threes is what it is, you know, but you got to make them. And we didn't make them. So with the turnovers and the offensive rebounds, I'm surprised we were even that close when you look at the stat sheet. What was the biggest problem? With the free throws, I mean, sometimes threes don't go in. That's in the flow of the game. Everybody understands sometimes that's hit or miss. But what's the deal with the free throws? Well, if I had a magic pill that I could give them about making free throws, I would. That's all mental. You played sports or played basketball. When you get fouled and you got to go to the line, they're free. So you should feel, feel good about yourself and go up and knock them down for and make them punish them for fouling you. And we just, we didn't do that tonight. I mean, that that's unacceptable. We got to get better and make a free. You're not going to beat teams in the Big Ten doing that. We're just not. What, do you, what, what, what goes into it when you guys were down and then you and then you went up seven and then you, I think you pulled like four starters. Um, what what goes into pulling the starters and then putting, putting the subs Guys, in you can't once? play everybody, George, 40 minutes. You know, that whole stretch, it went a good 10 to 11, 12 minutes. And I thought they needed a blow. So that's why I substitute. And I feel good about our bench. I need our bench to give us more. So that's why I went to the bench. And we didn't get it. They called up. But the game was back and forth. I think when you're on the road, you got to feel good being down three on the road. Or up three. I mean, it could have been a tied game. The guy hits a, a big time shot, you know, at the buzzer, you know, to go up th three. So I mean, I'm not feeling bad, but I just didn't like the way we were playing. I mean, we weren't sacrificing the basketball. Guys were open. We were trying to penetrate when nothing was there and losing the ball. I mean, it's that's just losing basketball. We got to get better in that area. But I think I think what George was one of the, one of the biggest questions that fans were asking tonight on social media was why were four starters out at the same time versus sort of like maybe rolling them through. If, if I'm not going to sit here and and answer that question and when it comes to the fans or you, I elected to go to my bench, which I've done this season, and I've gotten some good results here and there. And tonight, they didn't kill us, but. They let them back in the game. And I thought we withstood it. The big shot at the half, I thought, gave them momentum going in. But the game was still back and forth. Then X, you know, has his little fiasco where he gets kicked out. And that changed the, the game a little bit. So, I mean, at the two-minute mark, we were down six, two possessions. And we foul. And then we come back and we'd get an intentional foul. So that's the game pretty much. Now you're scrambling, trying to win down the stretch. We just got to be more solid. Like we play at home, that's how we got to play on the road. And I got to get us to that point. And last thing for me was just the offensive rebounds that they got. Is that a high level concern at this point? Or do you look at that and say, hey, this is fixable with effort? Or how do you approach that? It's always, it's always a problem. You know what I mean? We won a game against Ohio State losing the glass by 20 rebounds. And you say, how in the hell can you win a game like that? But it was the other areas where we were pretty good at. And you're not going to do that with most teams in the Big Ten. And 
we just get it's something we got to clean up because it's been a problem for our ball club this year. Coach, you scored 48 points last year in this building, 57 this year, five straight losses in this building. How much is it this building or just life on the road in the Big Ten? Well, I'm two of those five. I know that. And uh, we haven't played well here. And my thought process was if we kept it close, you know, and give ourselves a chance. But when you turn it over and give up offensive rebounds like we did and can't make free throws, it's hard to win on the road. So those are things that are fixable. We just got to go back home and go to work and see if we can fix them. Can't hear it. Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, just from game to game, obviously, you know, especially home on the road, but just game to game in general, what can you do to kind of develop more for consistency and start getting more consistent performances from game to game from your guys? Work. Continue to work. That's all you can do. You got to continue to work. So we go home. To, we'll go home and go to practice tomorrow and get ready for Minnesota. We have to continue to work to get better. And I got to get them over the hump. I got to figure that out. Last question on the Zoom, Mike Greener. Uh, yeah, Coach, how, how did you feel about the leadership on the floor, especially down the stretch? I mean, you talked about losing Xavier. Did you feel like guys stepped up and kind of, uh, you know, had a voice? Or are you still searching for that guy to sort of, I don't know, steady, steady the ship a little bit when things get tough, especially on the road. Well, I expect our seniors, Walker, X, and Gallo, Anthony Lill has been great. No complaints there. Those three guys are seniors. They got to help lead. And the road is different than playing at home. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, I thought we came out with good intentions. We played hard doing, sp doing the sp uh, spurts of the ball game, but – Again, missed free throws, 19 offensive rebounds, terrible from the three-point line, and I don't know how many turnovers we had. We had a lot of turnovers, 18 turnovers. So, I mean, it's, that's all losing basketball, and I got to fix it.